born. I swear to protect it till my last breath. As a fighter, the old Freya has higher than average attack and defense abilities. However, she lacks diversity in builds and skill combo. That's why we were looking for ways to add depth to and spice up her gameplay a little. We redesigned the skills to give her more possibilities than repeating the same skill sequence over and over again. Now, with multiple blinks and interaction between basic attack and skills, the new Freya is much more fun and allows the skillful players to truly shine in different combat scenarios. Skills and Gameplay The Passive Power of the Einherjar This is the core ability of Freya's revamp. Every two attacks grants her a sacred orb. By consuming up to three sacred orbs, she can enhance her skill to different degrees. Meanwhile, for each skill cast, the attack speed of her next two basic attacks is greatly increased. This passive totally evolves Freya's gameplay and effectively improves her sustained damage output. First skill, Leap of Faith. Freya leaps to the target location, damaging and pulling the enemy's hit. By consuming Sacred Orb, she can increase the damage radius and pulling distance. As a versatile skill, Leap of Faith did not change much from the old version. But with three Sacred Orbs consumed, it becomes a powerful initiation and crowd control skill. You can also use it as a straightforward escape tool. Second skill, Spirit Combo. By consuming Sacred Orb, Freya can use this skill up to four times. The first three casts are the same. Freya charges forward, dealing damage to and slowing the enemy's hit. With the fourth cast, she smashes the ground and knocks enemies airborne with a leap attack. Besides, every time she casts a skill, she gains a stackable shield. This skill is the core of Freya's new gameplay. The four continuous blinks makes her movement during a fight incredibly unpredictable. And the shield granted by each skill cast gives her considerable survivability. Ultimate skill, Valkyrie's Descent. Freya spreads out her wings and enters Valkyrie mode, gaining a shield and max charges of Sacred Orb. She also changes her weapon to a pole arm for increased attack range and splash damage. With this skill, the new Freya's gameplay is further enhanced. By instantly getting max Sacred Orb charges, you can create even more combo possibilities. The increased attack range also works well with her passive. For gear choices, we strongly recommend this equipment build. As a versatile fighter that relies heavily on basic attacks, Freya is in great need of the cooldown reduction and lifesteal provided by this build. The effect of immortality makes her even more relentless during teamfights. Teamfight Demo As the allied Grok runs into the enemy in the jungle, Freya comes to the rescue. With the enemy's retreat route blocked by Grok's second skill, she jumps into the fight and controls them all with a three-orb leap of faith. Then she spreads out her wings and runs rampant, crushing the enemy Kimmy and Exborg with a flurry of her second skill and basic attacks. Kimmy tries to escape, but is still chased up by Freya, who ends the skirmish with a neat finish. We have revamped Freya's background story. After Freya inherited her sister's will, she took up the sword and shield and became a Valkyrie, the secret guardian of her homeland. However, with the rise of Bane and his Black Shark pirates, a conflict is simmering on the stormy sea of Northern Vale. Now, as the mysterious artifact emerged, Freya has set her eyes on the coastline. Which way will the tide turn for the fighters? Freya the Valkyrie is going to be reborn on March 17th, with launch week 30% off. Don't miss out! Dear players, who would you like to see in the next Hero Reborn? Please, leave us a comment below.